All right. So today we're going to talk about heart valves, the the problems that one can have with their heart valves, and how we've used biomedical technology or bionics to help fix them um, and get or treat them. So I'm also going to discover the materials used to make them, and that's really important. So just quickly, what is a heart valve? Well, here 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 are the four main valves. Um, so you've got the aortic semilunar valve up here, up. Well, up here, the pulmonary semilunar valve, and that's to do with the shape, by the way, semilunar. Um, and then you've got the bicuspid valve and the tricuspid valve. We'll get into those later on. All right, so problems. Well, basically, just a bit of quick revision. Remember, a valve allows blood to flow in one direction. Okay, there we go. Um, a damaged or incorrect valve may result in blood going in two directions all right so a heart murmur can develop that that's a sound that the cardiologist or regular doctors I suppose but a cardiologist can hear uh, using the stethoscope when they listen to the heartbeat so what that comes from is a, a valve that can't close allows blood to leak backwards and this gives the hissing or a murmur murmuring sound look that up on YouTube you'll be able to find examples of what a heart murmur sounds like. Uh, so some blood is going to be lost in in back flow, I'm going to keep saying black flow, in back flow and this blood won't reach the destination as efficiently as required. Um, so we'll just back on that one. That can also that can result in all sorts of problems. You might not get enough oxygen to where you need it, you might not get um, enough nutrients to the cells you need it and this could cause atrophy which is where the cells start to die off. All right, so a damaged valve may cause obstruction. All right, to flow, uh, this could increase the blood pressure. Now, less efficient heart action could mean that the heart has to work harder. So there's a strain placed on the muscle of the heart. So, how do we replace these valves? Well, here are these are two specific type two sets of materials that make up one type. You have the mechanical valve, so you've got the ball and disc in a cage, and this, these here are examples of ball in a disc, sorry, ball in a cage. Um, as the blood flows this way, you can see that the ball will move out of the way, it fits there fine, it sits in the back chain. If the blood tries to flow back this way, the ball will lock up in this area here and the blood won't be able to go backwards all right so there's the tilting disc is the other type um, these are these are two mechanical ones so a tilting disc is a disc that well it, you know goes like this way blood goes up through pushes flat bioprosthetic so prosthesis that's that's when we put an artificial limb or an artificial body part um, so bioprosthetic is uh, things like human tissue valves so a valve from a, a donor uh, usually a dead donor because they people need those or a non-human animal tissue because remember we're animals and there are some animals that we can take the valves from so again here's the mechanical disc um, biological valves these would come from again I, I would, I'd say pigs so porcine bovine and I don't know about over I don't know about sheep but we can definitely get it from pigs and cows all right, so what do we use to make them and why? So pyrolytic carbon, um, we tend to use that as a coating for artificial body parts. Uh, there are various reasons. It has a high biocompatibility, which means the body's not going to reject it or less likely to. It is elasticity, which means it can, it can bend and go back into shape. Um, compared to alternatives like graphite, graphite is the same sort of thing as in your pencil. It's it's very hard, very strong, but it will snap if pushed in the wrong direction against the grain. And it has a high compressive strength. You you can squish it down. All right. So it's not prone to lipid absorption or swelling in the body or lipid absorption. Now, if you use a material that's going to swell up, and they used to use silicon. If it swells up, it's going to cause blockages and will have to be replaced, as we see here, very articulately 
blockage bad. Um, Teflon is we use this again it's a polymer by the way it's not the metal but so you've got Teflon things for your stove for cooking the metal is not Teflon Teflon is a coating um, so it's a polymer used again for the manufacture of, of certain body parts including blood vessels hip sockets soft tissues uh, and it also has many advantages it's resilient it's very I mean you've seen it Teflon it's very it doesn't scratch very easy it's easy to make has a very high density so it's it's, you know, it's, it's strong um, low coefficient of friction which means that's the proper way of saying that it has very low friction and stuff slips off that's why you can clean with it um, it can be dry sterilized which basically what that means is you can make it aseptic so nothing is living on it without having to soak it in um, chemicals and also stuff that you then are going to put into the will then move into the body contaminate the body all right so that's it you're going to want to summarize that information uh, put it into tables so tables of the different uh, materials we use tables of the different types of valves that we can replace it with and yeah stay rad see you in class